Well, good morning. You don't realize it, but you just fell. But I picked you up right away, so you didn't get a concussion or nothing like that. Whoa, you're going to fall again. Let me fix you. Don't be falling on me. We haven't got time to go to the hospital for a concussion or anything like that. I think I got you now. I set you on top of my garage door opener. Let me get something. One minute. I need my gloves because you know what? It's cold out here. Uh, I think I'm only going to get a mile in. I don't know if you can tell. Can you tell? It's snowing. But it's not sticking. But it is. Are you ready for this, Gina? No, even better. Are you ready for this, Anita? Because Anita complained the other day when it was 51. I realize in California you're not used to cold weather. I realize in different parts of the country and the world and stuff like that, you're just not used to it. But this is not too bad. It really isn't. I mean, it's it's cold. It's 21 with the wind chill of 8. Carrie, you know what I'm talking about. We can we can we can handle this. We can weather this. <coughs> Get it? Weather. Um, I don't think I told you what day it was, did I? Today's Thursday, January 10th. But you knew that. You didn't need me to tell you that. I, um, I'm kind of looking forward to the walk. I like walking in the cold. I don't like walking in the heat. No, no, me and heat, we don't, I mean, I like the heat in the summer, but not for walking. But that's when I'm in the pool, doing my exercises in the pool. I can, I can handle that. Wish I was in the pool. I'll lean like this. This is like casual. Hello, how are you? Um, I figured out my dinner. I'm going to make the stir fry with the chicken and I'm going to put some green peppers and red peppers and zucchini. And um, I'm going to have some rice with it. And then I haven't figured out my professor lunch yet. I'm trying to figure out what I want. I know I'm going to get vegetables in today because that seems to help me lose my weight. I just feel like a. I don't know. I, know, I was going to say street walker, but... Oh, you almost fell again. I, you know, I don't know how long I can keep this up. Um, anyway, I want to send you over. I'm going to put a link in the channel in the description box below. Uh, I want you to go over and congratulate. It's getting... The wind is picking up. I can just see that you're going to go flying again. Uh, Color Me Influenced has reached her two-year anniversary at Weight Watchers, or WW, and she's lost 90.8. So go on over there and say, Sandy said to say, congratulations, because that's quite an achievement. Two years. Geez, I've been doing this two years in December, and I've lost, and I didn't say only because I have lost 68 pounds, although at one time I was up to 77. So I still got to get back those nine pounds so I can get back to where I was. But um, other than that, I'm just going to do some laundry today, stay on track, enjoy my walk. And uh, I feed my birds. Can you hear them? They're saying, Sandy, our feeders are empty. So when I get back, I'll feed them. Okay, let's go for a walk. Because really, I am really looking forward to this. I know it's going to be cold. Let's zip up. I have my heavier coat on. I don't know if you notice I have a different coat on. And uh, let's get a crack of lacking. Well, that was a gorgeous walk. Walked a mile and a half. I did see one dog walker. It was a husky dog, so it was used to the cold. And uh, the, the owner, the lady, was dressed just like me. Warm for the weather. Um, I wanted to tell Lynn that my post office used to have that notification. And I did have that at one time. Then they revamped their system. And now, at my particular post office, the service is no longer available. They said they're trying to work out the glitches on it. And so hopefully it'll come back. Because I always used to get a notification, and that's how I always knew I had mail. But um, I'm going to feed my birds, because they're all lined up on the tree saying, Where's our food? We're not on Weight Watchers. So, or WW. So um, let's go in, get their food, get our water in, and get on with our day. I still haven't figured out what I'm going to have for breakfast, though. It'll be healthy, though. Okay, we're going to eat breakfast. I'm going to have a cup of tea, some diet cranberry juice, usual. Um, I start my day with a prayer. I drink 60 ounces of water. My quote is, it's not about being perfect. It's about effort. Your effort every day leads to a change in your mindset. Uh, it's a five-point breakfast. I have 23 for the day. Zero for my egg, banana, tea, water, grapefruit, and my diet cranberry juice. 
four points for a half a cup of the dry mix oatmeal and one point for a quarter cup of two percent milk so it's a five point breakfast i still have 18 points left still trying to figure out what i'm gonna have for lunch okay i feel like a snack i ate breakfast a little earlier than i normally do so i'm gonna have some of my Healthy Pop 100's Jolly Time Popcorn for three points and a glass of water. So I still have 15 points left. Okay, it's lunchtime. I am finding that I am liking eating three meals. It's, uh, as you know, in 2018 I tried it many, many, many times and it didn't work, but I'm kind of getting into it. I don't know if it's because it's winter and I'm trapped in the house. I don't know if that plays into it, but something's, something's changed. And I do eat a little bit more. Although we'll see on the scale on Saturday because it just seems like I'm eating a lot of food. But I'm going to have some of the artichoke jalapeno dip. And I'm going to have a couple of the uh, nanan, nan dippers. And doesn't that look healthy? I have, um, it's a five point lunch. It's zero for my oven roasted turkey and the strawberries, zero for my broccoli, cauliflower, tomato, cucumber, and pepper, and zero for my tea and water, three points for my two tablespoons of artichoke dip, and two points for the dippers. They're one point each, so I still have ten points left for my dinner. Okay, here's my throw-together stir-fry with my uh, chicken and vegetables. Uh, I have... 10 smart points to use. I only used four, zero for my chicken, zucchini, green and red peppers. I have some black beans in there and mushrooms. Four points for my cup of brown rice, um, zero for the soy sauce. I have a little bit of free fried beans and some iced tea and my water's in the other room. Uh, I, it's four points, which means I have six points left over. So I might have a snack later on, but I don't know, that looks pretty filling, don't you think? Well, I know I ended up with six extra points, but um, I think I ate a lot of food today. <laughs> it just shows you that there's so many zero-point foods out there that you can really get away with uh, eating a lot of food for a lot of less points. A lot of less points? Does that make sense? For less points. So, um, the oatmeal was very filling this morning, too. I um, was so glad I got my walk in today. It was I know it was really cold. It really I mean I didn't tell you how cold it really was, but it was cold. The wind was kind of bitter on my face. And um but I don't walk into the wind, at least this today. I mean obviously the wind changes directions. I didn't know if you knew that. But uh, um the one part when I was walking west, uh it was it was really quite windy. It was really, really bad. But uh, to the point that I almost turned around and thought, I'm going to go home. I'm going to figure out the way to go east and south and north. <laughs> I'm going to try to avoid this. But I thought, no, let's finish the walk. And um, <clears throat> I did do my laundry today, but there was so much more I could have done today. And I just was in a lazy mood and I just didn't do it. Christy and Aaron and Sophia came by. And uh, Jim had got me a Google Home Assistant for Christmas. And it wasn't working right. So Aaron is my tech guy. He came over and fixed that for me. And then I was trying to figure out a way to transfer my pictures from my phone, my iPhone, to I have an old iPad. Um, and I couldn't figure it out, so I called Danny and he walked me through it. So I was able, hopefully, to do that. And um, I'm having a hard time on my, I have two iPads. I call them an orange iPad and a blue iPad, obviously because of the covers that are on them. But my blue iPad is the one I always use when I was with Let's Get Fit. And I figured out a way to put it um, without having to use my computer to upload my videos. I figured out a way I could do it on the iPad. And then when I had started my Let's Get Fit with Sandy channel, I don't know how I did it, but I figured out how to do it on the orange iPad. So I was always going to, when I was doing both of them, I, I put the Let's Get Fit on the blue one. And then I put the Let's Get Fit with Sandy on the orange one. But I want to do everything on the blue one because it's a better one but I can't get it to work. It just, I'm just like technically not savvy with that. And Aaron is not an iPhone or an iPad person. He's a Android person. So he's not able to help me. And it's just, I'm, I'm watching YouTube videos and everything because I'm bound to determine that this year I'm gonna figure out how to put both 
because I like to go back on Let's Get Fit because I like to check out my videos because a lot of them are family vacations and things like that. A lot of times I want to just go back. I also want to go back and see how I'm progressing in my weight loss. And um, I was going to try to transfer them from the one to the other. And then I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave them on two different sites. And then they're always there. And then, uh, so that's, that's my goal for this year just to figure out how to do that before the end of the year. I have 12 more months, well, 11 more months to figure that out. And then um, also I'd like you to pray for Patty M's mother, Barb. She's having some issues and she'd like some prayers. And so I, when I was answering my comments, I noticed that. So I, I have like a generality in the morning. Um, I do have list some specific people. But for the most part, I just generally say, you know, watch over my YouTube family, my, you know, anybody that has their needs, listen to their needs and, you know, stuff like that. But um, I, I always say God knows who you're talking about and he knows who needs your help. So, but um, other than that, I, I think I had a pretty successful day. Um, I did um, chat a little bit with um, Anita who's having problems with her knee. I feel bad for her. I told her she needs to go to the doctors, which she said she agrees. So hopefully that her knee will get better. And um, other than that, I know that when I had my, I don't want to talk too long, but when I had my knee replacements, when I went to the doctors, because my knees are just finally, they just sort of bother me so much. You know, the doctors, I, I didn't realize I have such a high threshold of pain, which is where Sophia must get it from. Because I, if you were to ask me, I'd say, no, I don't have a high threshold of pain. No, I'm like a wuss. I am. So the doctor, like, took the x-rays and he said, well, you know, what would you say your pain level is on a scale of 1 to 10? And I said, well, at least a 5. And he says, a 5? And I says, okay, maybe a 4. And he says, no, I was going to say maybe a 10 or 11 or a 12. And I said, oh, no, not that bad. And he says, oh, yeah, looking at your x-rays, it's that bad. So... I must have a very high threshold of pain. You would never know it. For anybody that lives with me, they know. As I've told you before, I've been dying since I was 16 years old. <laughs> I always think i got some kind of ailment that I'm going to die from. But, okay, um, I haven't got anything else to say. I could go on and on. I could go on and on, but um, this video is long enough. So uh, give this video a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys in the morning.